immigration, we got a warrant. Could you open the door, please? Suspected illegal migrants rounded up as part of a government crackdown in the capital. But now the Home Office is also targeting landlords. Anyone caught renting out their home to an illegal migrant could be subject to a £3,000 fine or a five-year prison sentence. The new regulations are designed to ensure that illegal migrants do not get access to housing. But we've uncovered evidence that many have found a quick and easy way to dodge the system. On the streets of Southall, Mr Singh sells fake passports and UK resident permits the very documents which the government now requires landlords to check. We agree to buy a fake passport and UK residence card for £500. Amongst landlords and charities, there is growing concern that property owners are simply not equipped to operate as pseudo-immigration officers. Landlords don't want to do this job, they're being forced to do it, and no, landlords are not immigration officials. It is not their job to check immigration status. It's time to collect our fake ID. <laughs> It's so good, in fact, that a lettings agent couldn't spot it was a fake. So, passport, hmm. okay. And with that, he sends us to our first viewing. We told the Home Office about the results of our investigation. In a statement, they said, landlords are not expected to be experts in spotting forged documents and the introduction of biometric resident permits has further simplified immigration checks. We have one final appointment with Mr Singh. Mr Singh? Hi. I'm just here to talk to you about the fake passports that you've been selling. Do you know your actions are illegal because you... No English the growth in black market ID documents is leaving landlords vulnerable to criminal prosecution under the government's right to rent scheme. It's a fact that fraudsters like Mr Singh will continue to exploit. Zach Adesina, BBC London News.